how do we depoliticize some of these common sense things that we know work, that work in other countries? Who would think that wearing a mask would be making a political statement? So Mary and Prentice, do you have any uh, thoughts on those matters? I do, but they do sort of hinge on politics. Um, we have a, a big problem with a disdain for expertise. And that's, you know, a, a political statement. Uh, but that's what we need right now. Uh, a sensible response would have reports by our public health agency, which is the Centers for Disease Control, talking to the public every day. Uh, public health authorities are generally trusted authorities. They're not viewed as ones that have political agenda. Uh, but uh, what's happened instead is that this has been politicized right down to the ground. And a lot of it caught up in a really dangerous game of trying to avoid blame so that you have, you know, the central authority saying, ah, it's the state's responsibility and uh, setting up governors for blame, governors setting up mayors for blame. You know, this is just um, has, you know, and so I, I think that we have to do some serious thinking about um, how it is that we've come to have so much disdain for the idea of scientific expertise. Although Tony Fauci is well regarded. Just, just speaking for me, I, I, I would say that my viewpoint on this is that uh, this is where racism again comes into it. In the Midwest where I am, you have the divide between Southern Illinois and Metro Chicago, and the attitude has been downstate in Illinois, well, uh, that's an urban problem. It doesn't involve us. Mm -hmm. Same thing nearby in Michigan, where they look at Detroit and the people, the, you know, who are good people, but uh, they, there's been the same thing. So I think racism has yeah. tinged no, some right. of this response. Uh, but, uh, yeah. you know, some of the uh, rebellion against science and the politicization, I mean, it, it didn't work out too well for Herman Cain these last three weeks. So and I don't mean that as a joke. It'll be interesting to see as, as this shifts to rural areas, which is happening, whether the uh, code that we're hearing, which is as, as, um, as Prentice, I hope I can call you Prentice, is, yes, you as, is saying is that urban areas mean the black and brown people. Um, but now we're, we're, you know, we're gonna see that, that, that the cities were the front door uh, they were yes. not uh, the, uh, the, the, the last stop. Well, Sorry. I believe um, in California, it's already hitting the rural areas, the mm -hmm. big Central Valley farming communities. Um, I think that they're largely contributing to this latest wave. Mary brought up sort of uh, Trump punting it to the states. And I was in the Senate when we were doing Ebola. And we led a global effort yeah. to yeah. tamp down Ebola. Part of it was because the CDC was in Africa and identified it in Liberia. And then went into Liberia. We, we treated people. We had the military came and uh, built hospitals. And we were led a global effort. Mm -hmm. Trump Ha, in, instead of we, you know, we we used to be the indispensable country, the indispensable nation, and instead of we, this is a global problem, and instead of having being part of a global solution, and let alone leading a global solution, he punted it down to the states. I mean, it's it, it's as if after Pearl Harbor. FDR said, well, this is mainly, you know, Hawaii's problem.